Protect your privacy online with the best VPN for gaming, ExpressVPN. And visit expressvpn.com slash gillymaster, linked in the description, to find out how you can get three months free. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another GTA Online video here on the channel. Today we're going to go over a really bad problem with GTA Online that doesn't seem to get that much attention. Thermal vision in this game is completely broken, and when I say broken, I don't mean that it doesn't work. It's actually quite the opposite, it's way too overpowered in its current state. A lot of hardcore players will probably already know how broken thermal vision is, but I'm making this video to bring more awareness to this very alarming issue with the game so that hopefully it gets fixed sometime in the future because I rarely see anyone talk about this. Now, thermal vision and thermal scopes have been in many games before. The purpose of thermal vision, in short, is to make it easier to spot people in environments where it would be otherwise hard to. And in GTA Online, it does serve that purpose. You can see in this image, it's kind of difficult to see the person through the sniper scope because of the darkness, but with thermal vision on, it highlights them and makes them much easier to spot. However, in every other game, you need a direct line of sight to the person in order to see their thermal signature, and it doesn't let you see people from ranges outside of the normal runner distance. In other words, you'd still be able to see a person using a normal scope, the thermal scope just makes it easier to see them. Well, let's take a look at a few ridiculous examples to showcase why thermal vision is completely stupid and busted in GTA. First, I want to thank my friend JSM for helping out with this video though, it would not have been possible without him. Now, consider this picture without thermal vision. I don't see any enemies in my view whatsoever, my friend is located at the very other side of the runway, and I would only be able to see him if I zoomed in with my sniper. But when we activate the thermal vision, it's a completely different story. Although it's kind of hard to see, there's a little orange square in my vision, and that square represents the player that is out of my render distance, which is why it's a shape instead of an outline of a person like it normally would be. It's only after I zoom down the sights of my sniper where it turns into an actual person and it fully renders in. So it's a massive advantage for the thermal goggles here, allowing you to see targets from miles away that you otherwise would have had to zoom in to see. But trust me, it gets even worse than this. In this next scenario, I'm positioned on a rooftop with my sniper. My friend is located inside of the parking garage on the first floor, and there's a whole building in between us completely blocking any line of sight to him. But when I turn my thermal vision on, I again see an orange square indicating his exact position through the building. So I just have to ask one question, are these thermal goggles or x-ray goggles? Because there's zero chance that thermal goggles will let me see someone through a whole ass building from this far away. But let's see what happens when I shoot that orange square. Yes, that's right, I just shot him through the entire building and probably the parking garage walls too. Just to clarify, the thermal vision isn't what allows you to shoot through the wall. That's the fault of the way the game renders the world. Basically, if you are far enough away from any part of the world, anything you shoot through will go right through it. But without thermal vision telling me his exact location through the wall, I would have no idea where to shoot if I actually wanted to try this, which would make it near impossible to pull off. But let's look at some more examples to show you exactly how ridiculous thermal vision is. This time I'm on the roof of the Los Santos Customs, JSM is on the street next to the parking garage, and I can see his heat signature and sniper him through the buildings at this distance. Next, we decided to kick it up a notch. My friend is behind the mountain inside of the quarry, but you know what? What's a giant landmass gonna do to thermal vision? This one is a bit harder to see, so if you're watching on a phone or a smaller screen, you might not have seen the square, but clearly I did because I was able to snipe him no problem. This one, I actually see the full outline of his body through the wall, and yet I'm still able to snipe him. And by far the most ridiculous one is this one right here. Now based on the minimap, you'd probably assume that he's just on the street over there, but no, he's actually in the underground tunnels, and the thermal vision spots him through all of those walls, and I snipe him from above ground on a rooftop while he's underground. <laughs> 
And considering that thermals allow you to see players through walls at long ranges, I have to ask the question, what is the difference between this and this? Thermal vision is essentially having wall hacks. The only difference is that it's a bit easier to see the environment with a wall hack than with thermal vision. That's literally the only difference. We also need to discuss another very broken exploit, thermal vision in aircraft. With this specific glitched outfit, you're able to activate thermal vision while in aircraft, which gives all the perks of having thermal vision the ability to see players through walls at long ranges, the ability to see players way outside the normal runner distance, all in the seats of an attack jet. And if you pair the explosive cannons of the laser or hydra with the thermal vision, you get the most overpowered and easiest griefing vehicle ever to exist. If you've ever wondered what it would be like to have a target finder on a laser, look no further. There is nothing that a player can do against this on foot, aside from teleport away or just leave the session entirely. It is the most unfun, overpowered bullshit to go against, and if it wasn't bad enough already, a player with thermal vision can actually see you spawn in before you even spawn in and appear on the minimap for them. You see that orange square in the corner there? Well, that's his heat signature, and now that I know where he is, I can get ready to spray him down with some meme cannons, and he is not even on the minimap yet, he's still loading in. JSM and I were doing some counting to see how much time he had to do anything after spawning in, and we got an average of about 2 seconds to do anything before he died again. And a few times I even hit him while he still had spawn protection, so we got just flung up into the air but took no damage. That's how quickly you can kill people in spawn trap with this. And just a word of warning, a lot of people that grief with jets use this exploit. And you can very easily tell if they're using a thermal jet if you use ghost organization or go off radar and they still are able to keep finding you and killing you. Or if you get hit while you still have spawn protection, that's a really obvious way. And you can even make an educated guess if you notice that they're always insanely accurate when you get hit. Like if you're dying the moment they start firing the cannons every single time, it's most likely a thermal jet. And the final way to tell is just by looking at their outfit in the kill feed. It's not the most accurate way because the outfits sometimes don't update after you change something about them. But if they have a thermal helmet on in the kill feed, you might be dealing with a thermal jet. To fix thermal vision, at the very least, they need to make it not work with aircraft again. Thermal jets are one of the scummiest, easiest, and cheapest ways to kill someone in GTA. I would even venture to say it's on par with the orbital cannon just because they can keep harassing you with it, whereas the orbital cannon is just one kill. That being said, I mean, remove both of them. And then I would say the range that thermal signatures show up should drastically be reduced so that you aren't able to see people through walls because that's just flat out busted. But that's pretty much it, just something to be aware of and on the lookout for. I'll leave a link to the Rockstar feedback page in the description and I'll probably leave a pinned comment as well if anyone wants to send this to them. Because apparently that's the best way to notify them of issues like this so anything is possible. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more guide and PvP related content. I want to again thank my friend JSM for helping me record this video, it would not have been possible without him. Huge shout out to all my channel members for your support if you'd like to become a member for some exclusive products you can either use the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.